Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Hello Kitty Tropical Escape Collection with Colourpop Cosmetics. They have collabed with Hello Kitty once again for a really beautiful tropical summer collection. And I do have the entire collection here with me today that I'm going to be reviewing for you. I created a look with all the palettes, I put the blushes into use, and there's also a new formulation from Colourpop which I'm so excited about and it's a lip formulation. They came out with these new glowing lip balms, which, spoiler alert, I really do love. So if you want to hear all about it, see my looks and everything like that, comparisons as well, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the collection first. I just want to give you a general overview of what you can expect to see in this collection. So let's just start from the top. We have four four pan mini palettes. These are 12 US dollars each, which is pretty expensive coming from Colourpop considering that you could buy a 9 pan for a very similar price but typically with their collab palettes these do run a little bit more expensive but also in this collection there are two press blushes and these are also $12 and then we have their new formulation this is their glowing lip balm it only comes in a set of three and this is $25 which breaks down to about $8 each and lastly in the collection we have a lip scrub this is in a pineapple scent and this is nine US dollars and there are actually a lot of sets on Colourpop that you can purchase. You have an affiliated code with Colourpop if you would like to use. It is just my name Judy at checkout and that will save you 10%. I believe it does work on this collection but I'll have to double check and I'll leave the info in my description box. So let's go ahead and talk about the mini pan palettes first and I feel like generally this collection was pretty well received from videos I saw from fellow creators. They thought this collection was very fun and bright but for me personally I had sort of the opposite reaction when I saw these palettes and this collection I was just like this is really nothing new from Colourpop these mini pan palettes I'm not even gonna say are comparable because usually I do say comparable or comparisons I never say dupes but literally this is extremely extremely dupable within Colourpop and I just feel like with these colorful monochromatic palettes like honestly we just don't need them anymore especially with these color stories they came out with so we have like the yellow we have the orange we have the pink and the blue literally uh-huh honey orange you glad ooh la la and blue moon i just feel like color pot really executed their nine pan palettes that these little palettes i really really don't feel like they're necessary especially considering the price i mean if you're a big fan of hello kitty like these are very very cute but i can't remember exactly how much the 12 pans are but i would say they are around $12 and you would pay a very similar amount of money but you get more shadows but in saying that I did have a lot of fun playing with these palettes you guys know me I love a good monochromatic look and I felt really great in all of the looks that I created with these palettes because it was monochromatic and I love it. All the shadows were really easy to work with um, so it's not that I don't like the palettes I just feel like at this point in time 2021 it is extremely, extremely dupable. But I know when I read my comments, some of you guys ask me, what is a great colorful palette for me to try out? So if you don't mind about the money aspect and you just want like a very small colorful palette, then these are of course are a great option. But me being me, I'm always gonna look at the value of money and like, you know, pros and cons. Um, and yeah, these are just not really worth it to me in my collection. I think all of the looks that I created I could have just taken a 9 pan monochromatic palette that's equivalent to these and created probably the exact look. I've had this idea in my head for a while now is like instead of like showing you guys I guess comparisons by swatches I would do one eye look like for example the palette I'm wearing today. I would do one eye look with this palette and then an eye look with the uh huh honey palette which is like the dupable palette the comparison palette and show you it on my eyes but that would take you know even more work that I put into these videos which I'm okay or which I'm okay with doing I'll do it if you guys want to see it but um, I guess when I do my looks I just want to like showcase the actual eyeshadow palette so I don't know if that will interfere with the eyeshadow look that I create with the palette that makes sense just let me know what you guys think and I'll think about it we'll see it probably won't apply to every collection but I guess for a collection I definitely could have done that because very very dupable but again still love the looks that I created very easy to play with but 
just didn't really need these. So I'm just gonna quickly go through each palette and show you my look with it and then show you the swatch by swatch comparison. So we'll start off with the palette that I currently have on and this is the Pineapple Cake palette. And if you can see a little detail, a little Easter egg, I did buy these little fruit earrings to match with the palette. So I'm wearing the pineapple earring with this look and I think it's so cute. But I started off with To The Core which is sort of like a bright, medium toned yellow as my transition and this one blended really well. I just worked that straight into my crease, took that onto my lower lash line as well. I then went in with So Sweet which is just ever so slightly darker than To The Core but on the eyes they literally look the same. It doesn't really add that much definition to the eyes so these two matte shadows kind of pointless having them together in one palette because they literally look the same on the eyes. But then I went with La Pina and I placed this at the center of my eyes. I think this is a really beautiful true yellow gold. Then I went in with the shade Sandy and I used that in my inner thirds and also into my inner corners. I think um, the metallic shadows, they did a good selection with this because La Pina is a true yellow and then Sandy has sort of like a yellow base but it has almost like blue teal reflex so it adds a bit more dimension to like a yellow monochromatic look. I think if they added like a dark mustard instead of one of the matte shadows I think this palette would have been a really solid mini yellow monochromatic palette. However this is the final look and I really like how it turned out. Here are my comparisons. I'm just gonna compare it to Aha uh -huh Honey. I feel like Aha uh -huh Honey does have a little bit more mustards in there but definitely the metallics you definitely could create something very 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 similar with this palette and then I'll also just compare it to the yellow row in the fade into hue palette. Then the next palette we have is Teeny Keeny and this is the orange palette. Very very beautiful. I think they did a really great job with the selection of the shades in this palette. So first off I started off with Hula Hoop as my transition shadow. Blended so well. Very pigmented. Easy to blend. Then I went with Itsy Bitsy to deepen out the outer corner. Corners. I feel like with the two mattes in here you do see a difference in them and you do see some definition so I love that. Next going into Sandcastle, I'm gonna apply that to the center of my lids. A really beautiful sort of orange metallic with a gold flip. And then I went in with Beachy and I just took that into the inner third of my lid and also into my inner corners as well. Something about orange eyeshadow against my black hair I just really really love and I think the overall look turned out really nice. I think it's a really great summer slash fall type of look. So for my comparison palettes I have of course the Orange You Glare palette because this is I guess the equivalent monochromatic palette. And then I'm also going to compare it to Statement Piece which is their 5 pan. It's it's mainly for the metallics that I feel like are a little bit more comparable but Stamen Piece definitely does lean towards that coral side. However, I still want to give you that comparison. And I'm also just going to compare it to the orange row in the Fade Into Hue palette. And the next palette we have is Cherry Sweet. This is the pink palette. I personally would have loved if they actually did like a mini red palette because it is cherry but they did pink for this. It's still cute so let's just hop into the look. I'm first taking the shade Yummy as my transition shadow, just sweeping that into my crease. This is like a really fun, bright bubblegum type of pink. And then we have Soda Crush. I'm just going to work that at the outer corners of my eyes. I think for a bright fuchsia, this one blended really well and it was really pigmented. I feel like typically when something is very bright, it can look a little bit patchy, but this one worked perfectly. Then I'm going into Hibiscus. I'm going to apply that to the center of my eyes. A really fun pink metallic. I feel like this one's a a little bit more unique as really well with all of the pink shadows and then we have lemonade and I'm just gonna take that at my inner third and also to the inner corners again I love this look as well I love wearing pink shadows so this one was very very pleasing to me and I just really enjoyed this pink look so for my comparisons I'm first gonna compare it to Ooh La La of course I think there are some key dupes here I also just compared it to Fine Feathered which is a newer palette from them but I thought that would be a good 
comparison to. And the last palette I want to compare it to is Too Hot, which is a five pan. I think there are some comparisons here, especially with those metallics. Actually, the last comparison I have is the pink row from the Fade Into Hue palette. And then the last palette we have is Coco Cute. This is the blue palette. I feel like this has a really good mixture of like teals and true blue. So it does have like a bit of variation in there, which is really nice. But we're going to go in with Lovely Luau as our transition shadow, just working that straight into the crease. I'll then go in with Hang Tan and I'm just going to work this at my outer corners. I was actually really, really impressed with this blue. Hang Tan is like a very true fine china type of blue. And like I mentioned before, with these like brighter colors, they can be a little bit patchy and really hard to build on. But Hang Tan worked really, really well. I had no issues with that. But then I'm going to go in with Bay Breeze and I'm just going to apply that to the center of my eyes. Same technique as all of the other looks. And then going in with Shaved Eyes at the inner corners of my eyes and also the inner third of my lid space. Also, really, really love this blue look as well. I really do love blue eyeshadow against my black hair. I feel like it gives me a lot of mermaid vibe. Anytime I play with blue shadow, I don't know why. I just want to whip out all of the pearls I have. But let's move into my comparisons. I wanted to compare it to Blue Moon for obvious reasons and then also High Tide since this is sort of their teal palette. I'm also going to compare it to Rumor Has It, their five pan palette. This does have a similar color story where there is teal and a bit of true blue. And then of course just comparing it to the blue row in the Fade Into Hue palette. Now let's talk about the two press blushes and formulation wise you guys know I love their press blushes. One of my favorites love and adore. These are really cute though because they do have the imprint of Hello Kitty on one of them and the other one has Hello Kitty's iconic bow. So let's talk about them individually. The shade that I'm currently wearing is this one here with Hello Kitty's face on it. This one is called Aloha Honey and this shade is so pretty, a really great summer blush. I would describe it as an orange blush with a pink undertone. Um, it's very, very pretty and this is just really up my alley. I know I'm just going to be using this one a lot and definitely in my collection, I couldn't really find that many comparisons, especially in this formulation. So this one definitely added something new into my collection and I love this one. And the other blush is called Island Shine and this one is sort of that true fuchsia pink and I think for a shade like this, I do have quite a few shades that look very, very similar to it. So I feel like this one didn't really add too much into my collection, but um, just overall, really love the color. And I think these two performed really well. So it really depends on what you have in your collection. I do think these are really pretty and perfect for the summer. Okay guys, let's talk about the new glowing lip balms. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, it only does come in a set. When I saw these, I was so excited. This was the thing that I was most excited about in this collection. And like I've been hinting in this video, I love this formulation. And I think the question I'm going to get asked a lot is, how does it compare to my absolute favorite Just a Tint Lip Crayon formulation? So, I would say they are pretty similar um, in the finish, but I feel like the texture is a little bit different. I feel like if I was wearing this now, you guys might think that I'm wearing a Just A Tint lip crayon, but I would say the lip balms, they have more of like a thicker texture to them. And I feel like these are just a little bit more, I wouldn't say pigmented because the Just A Tint crayons are very pigmented as well, but these have more of like a lip balm, waxy type of texture. Um, like even when you are swatching it, it has that sort of like, yeah, waxy. I feel like waxy is a good description, is it? Waxy sounds a little off-putting, but I guess it just, it really is like a tinted glowing lip balm, like the name fits it so well. These do have a different scent from the Just A Tint line. This one smells a little bit more fruity. It smells like something that I applied when I was a kid, like lip smackers or something, I'm not sure, but it smells very fruity, but it, I would say these are a little bit more impactful fragrance-wise compared to the Just A Tint line. So if that is something of a concern, just keep that in mind that these do smell absolutely delicious, but could be a problem for you. But yeah, I feel like the finish is pretty similar to a Just A Tint lip crayon. 
Um, these are just a little bit, I would say, more hydrating because it is a lip balm and I just feel like these are a little bit thicker on the lip. Also, the shades that they came out with, I feel like are just so, so pretty. So this one I just swatched right now is called Hello Fruity. This one is not a shade that I would wear like a lot just because it is quite bright. But I think for the summertime, this would be really pretty. Even just in the middle of your lip for like a gradient effect, this would be really nice. Like it's a really pretty color. It is very flattering. Just not a color that I would wear daily but still would recommend even getting this set. I am wearing a mixture of these two but it's mainly Fun in the Sun. Fun in the Sun will probably have to be my favorite. It looks like my lips but better but it's so so pretty. Love the shade as well. And the last one is called Tropic Cutie. This one I feel like also gives me a little bit of rise and shine vibes but it's a little bit lighter on my lips. However, I really do like all three shades and I feel like there is a good variation between all of them And I just really love this new formulation like it's really really good And I hope they come out with more of these in the future and less vibrant packaging I mean it's cute, but like, you know it's, it's a bit bright for me. And lastly, in the collection, we just have their lip scrub. This is in Pineapple Pop. And I will say it does smell really, really great. I did open it to smell, but I'm going to have to pass it on to a friend just because with these type of products, they can irritate my lips because it is fragranced. But I have used the ColourPop lip scrub in the past before, and I feel like they are pretty gentle. Like, it's a very gentle exfoliant that I feel like maybe you could use like every other day like, it's not too embraceive and intense like if we're comparing it to the lush lip scrub where the sugar particles are very like chunky these are very fine and i feel like it's a very gentle way of exfoliating your liver yeah this is the last thing in the collection and with that being said i'm sure you can probably tell which ones are my favorites which one is my recommendations my top recommendation would have to be the glowing lip balms i know they don't come individually but the shades in here is really really worth it and if you don't like a shade you could just pass it on to a friend and then my other recommendation would have to be probably aloha honey just because this one in my collection is more unique and i just really really love the tone of the blush and i feel like it's a really great summer blush so these would have to be my top picks everything else worked fine like i really loved everything but just a little too dupable but these I love. But okay, you guys, that is going to include today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Sorry, it came a little late. I did get this in PR, like, I think maybe two weeks ago, but yeah, it just took me a while. Things happen. Things are happening. You know, I'm so sorry, but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. I still hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate it so much if you could give it a thumbs up for me. I would also love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you guys think of this collection? Because from what I've seen, I feel like it has been really well received. And obviously, if Hello Kitty is collabing with ColourPop again, their past collections must have been really great. But anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, come and join the family. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!